Hi, Stark Centeno. And is there anything specific to know before you go get an upright MRI with flexion and extension to rule in or out craniocervical instability or CCI? The two big things you'd want to focus on are number one, to try to get the maximum range of motion during your movement-based imaging, whether that's upright MRI, DMX, et cetera. In terms of an upright MRI, you want to get into maximum flexion and maximum extension. I also, frankly, wouldn't worry about trying to do side bending or rotation during an upright MRI because it's not going to be that helpful in making a CCI diagnosis. The second thing you should know is that if we're going to read the images, we don't need the reading radiologists to perform measurements. We'll do all the measurements needed, grab oaks, BAI, translational BAI, BDI, CXA, et cetera. And the third thing you should know is that if you have a hard time with range of motion, you might want to consider actually taking some medications before the procedure that will loosen you up again, to maximize range of motion. With these procedures, the more range of motion you have, the more likely it is that we'll be able to see craniocervical instability if it's present. Hopefully that answers this question. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.